Yeah, I was surprised to see a different truck. Yeah, I was not happy about it. But Me neither. I like that. The forklift we were gonna, we already had a plan where we were gonna set everything. I still can do that. Yeah. yeah. Actually, I got 76 more feet that I can reach. So that thing will reach 76 feet. Oh yeah, that's oh, nice. unfold and, and it stands up, I think four or five times. So. Got the little wheel though. Yeah. Extra. <laughs> yeah. That keeps the cops off me. Yeah. Barney retired, so I am too worried Did about him. Did he retire? Yeah. Good. The old girl keeps trying to shut off. It's shutting off? Yeah. Uh, engine protect flicks, and so I start and check my antifreeze, and that's full. I don't know what's going on. I don't make it, I'm sure. You think so? I just keep shutting off and keep going. I don't know what it is. Oh. That, uh, I told them, you know, you, after you have major work done, you don't send it out on a long voyage. Right. But they did. So, uh, well, radiator, we'll, we'll radiator is full, so. Ah. How the hell did I get ahead of you? We stopped. Yeah, she just shut off. Yeah, and then she'll start back up. So I'll just fake it out. I'll flip the switch and keep it's on not, going. Yeah, really? Yeah. Keep shutting off? Yep. Yeah. engine protect. And it don't tell me what it is, but. <laughs> I got an address punched in of uh, Portage Lake. Perfect. Yeah. And that off 158. Yeah. We'll try to kind of stay with you. And if yeah, you don't, we'll don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm, I'll get into the hills. Yeah. I have grandma going by me and flipping me off. Jeez. <laughs> How many more miles we got? The two hours. So two hours, yeah, that's what my yeah. thing says. Yeah. It's been a pretty good ride so far on the yeah. rain up here yeah. on this side. Yeah. But it ought to. As you're going along, it automatically shuts off. Oh yeah, it's not. Yeah, the engine light comes on and flashes engine protect, and it, I know for sure lamp that's going to peel out. I don't know. Wow. I don't know what it is. Oil okay? Uh, yeah. It's, it's been served. Oh wow. Uh, I don't know, we just came back from Bangor yesterday. That's why I see it. Right. And then that's when they had bad injectors. So that came up here to Bangor. Right, you never could. And, I think the ginch speaks say, well, if you have any problem, pull into Bangalore. I'm way by Bangalore. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're going. Okay. We'll make it. Yeah. All right. Well, what is up, guys? We are on the road. We're at a couple hundred miles up the interstate, heading up We're with our trailer and tow full of tackle. We got so much gear with us and tools. And right behind us is the Hunt Brothers log truck or I guess lumber truck. Lumber truck. Yeah, yeah. and he's not doing well. Uh, we got loaded up <laughs> last night on a brand new truck that does really well. And for some reason, they switched it over to this new truck that just got out of the shop yesterday. Or this old truck, I'm sorry, that was having trouble with its uh, injectors and something else. Just come out of the shop yesterday and they switched it over to this truck. So he's not doing well behind us. He, We pulled over and and got a sandwich. Uh, he's, uh, you see him at all? I see headlights, but I can't tell whether it's I'm gonna him. slow her right down. I mean, I'm only going 55 right now. Yeah, that isn't him. But we just came up on our all of our lumber on the side of the road when he got ahead of us, and the truck keeps shutting off on him. He checked his oil and antifreeze and stuff and doesn't know why it keeps shutting off, so it's not overheating. So I guess he keeps turning it back on and running it, so. Not sure what's going on, but we're gonna go a lot slower now, try to stay with him. If he breaks down, hopefully they send that other truck up that we loaded up on yesterday. That's the update, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, it's not good. We were hoping for smooth sailing. Yeah, yeah, it seems like we, uh, this project with the, between the weather and, and uh, now this uh, fiasco, why uh, it's, kind of discouraging yeah the whole project I mean, we've had breakdowns right from the start but that's the kind of stuff we like yeah that you makes know? makes for interesting viewing <laughs> yeah <laughs> you, you guys probably like it i mean we just kind of shake our heads but uh, to be honest with you it just adds another challenge to the challenge we're already doing and we don't uh, mind the challenges so no. donnie calls me and says hey this broke down i say great yeah, we got an afternoon off. We don't have to work. No, <laughs> it means we got something we got to fix or learn how to fix or or uh, or learn how to do. So, you know, you got to look at things the right way and have an open mind to these challenges, and rather than 
we could sit here and cry about it yeah. or we could do something proactive and, and be positive so we're going to choose to be positive uh, here's the birches right here guys this is one of my favorite spots on the interstate it's like mile 211 or something like that it's just all well, birch trees flatbed going by us so yeah load that up. let's load it on him yeah but we got a couple more hours to portage lake and then an hour solid hour into the woods after that we're a little bit nervous about the woods roads getting washed because they got they got two four inch storms that we know of and we got the chainsaws ready hopefully we, have, we don't have any washouts and the truck can still get in there but we're going to continue on thanks for tuning in guys this is the wilderness cabin build series you're watching episode like what is this uh seven or eight or something like that and there's going to be a pile of them in this series and we're also going to be running some quite a bit of content on my other channel called jh rough cut i'll throw a link to that where we'll do a lot of tool reviews and tool comparisons and a little bit more in depth on the building process whereas this one will be mostly vlogs so appreciate the support on this channel and the other channel here we go Must have shut off on them again. Yeah. We're going 35 now. That ain't good. A small radiator. Says it's full. I smell a little bit of radiator, yeah. not too bad. It might be from uh, the other day when I spit it all out. Millinocket's the next exit. I don't know if, if we, we still got over 100 miles just to get to Portage. Right. So I don't know. Millinocket's not far ahead. If, the, if there's a truck repair place there, or yeah, I don't know. If, if we should pull over and wait for a reinforcement. Well, that's tip this way, so I'm going to take that off yet. Antifreeze. She's looks pretty full now. Tip, tip this way. Yeah, yeah, it is tipped. Tip the only thing I can think of is they did perfect when they fixed that path. They had this all ripped out. This was all messed up in there, I guess. That's why I say it should have gone for a voyage for a while. the heat up and put the windshield wipers on extra fast and stepped on her and she was doing pretty good we'll try that see what happens the fluid up the, in there is black the radiator fluid that was already in there was like black I don't know. 
he threw some radiator fluid in it. It took a half gallon, I think. Nope. All right, all right, all right. We made it to the booming town of Ashland. Donnie, tell us what's going on in Ashland. Nothing but rain. It's it's poured the last two hours. And you can see in the roadway here, just, just running. That's the Machias River. Yeah. Right. Or the Aroostook <laughs> River. We're getting some last minute fuel, topping off the truck and uh, getting some fuel for the generator in case we need it to charge batteries or, or run any of the power equipment that, that we have, the power tools. And then that's gonna be the last stop before we get to the North Main Woods checkpoint. All right, that's in there. Everything's pretty tight. We got a full load in here. What do you think? I think I think it's going to be kind of a hairy ride going in the dirt road. Hopefully, some of the streams and bridges and and uh, going up that hill where we got to turn off to go up to where your camp is going to be. It was showed signs of washing before when we were here, so I think that's going to be a challenge. We're really worried that the road's going to be washed out in some sections or or maybe that one where the beavers had it close to the top right, that, yeah that's going to be flooded oh, yeah so we are some nervous about the road being washed for this guy and his truck but we got the right driver dave's an animal so yeah, yeah, he's good. I, I got a feeling he's not gonna be afraid of nothing but yeah, he's yeah. yeah. let's see how the load's looking still got everything on there Looking good, Dave. Right, real well. All right, truck running good now? Yeah. Okay. That's all it was. Where going, you? We are going that way, yeah. Yeah. Good so. left on 11? Yeah. Yeah. I'm following. All right, buddy. I just put Portage, Portage Lake. Yeah, we're not far. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> we're going that way. Yeah. We're going the wrong way. I know. <laughs> well, here we go, guys. We're back on the road. We're going to get back on 11 and header from Ashland to Portage Lake. As long as we can slip by this lumber truck here. Right, right. All right, Donnie, you ready? I'm ready. Getting excited? Oh, yeah. I'm, I gotta dig out my rain gear, it looks like, but. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, a feeling as soon as we get here, the rain's just gonna stop and the Clouds to are gonna part out. just for us. That would be nice. We'll see. It's an adventure, like everything. Okay, we are in the North Main Woods and it's still raining pretty good. Looks like it's been raining nonstop for a couple days. This road's usually mint, and it is greasy and Wash bumpy, washboardy, and I imagine them edges are soft, so we're we're staying in the middle just to make sure Dave stays in the middle too, because he's got some serious weight, and we don't want anything to slide off the edge of this road, but she's some greasy. So it'll be a slow ride in. We got 30 miles or so, and hopefully there's no bad washouts. Donnie and I saw a wicked bad washout on the tire road and that makes us nervous because that's tire road and this is not tire road but we'll see yeah yeah those those uh those planking on the truck are gonna be pretty muddy yeah i saw the side of them when we when we were just stopped oh really covered already covered with dirt jeez oh. that'll cost us a saw blade or two oh. Donnie, why don't you troll a uh, streamer out that window in these ruts? And yeah, well, maybe you catch up, catch yeah. a brook trout or something. <laughs> Holy it, cow! It's so chocolatey. I don't know if they can see the see the streamer. Oh, just put a bright color on. Oh, okay, that'll do it. Whew! Made it. Cannot believe we made it in here. 
no problems yet. We still haven't unloaded yet. But I'm gonna put my rain gear on. I'm gonna be smart. <coughs> Something I usually don't do is be smart. Thing is, if we get wet now, there's no taking a hot, dry shower later tonight. You're soaked for the duration. So, rain gear time. It's hard as hell. Wow. It's harder than concrete. Huh. Look at that. Real hard. I told he's gonna loop in where you're standing oh, okay. and bang her towards your, your tent. Your tent's still up, by the way. Oh, yeah. She sagged a little more, okay? Yeah. Things sag when they get old. Whoa. That's some weight. No problem. Yeah. If you want to get turned around, go for it. Yeah, feel free. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Anywhere in there is good. I can't buy it I have a raincoat in there. It's going
What is it? Red. Yeah, blinking red. You want me to push the button? That ain't good. It's not working. I don't know if it's wet or it's just malfunctioning. But Hopefully he can unload it all from there. A little bit more. All right, it's just barely on. Is that all right? That's the heavy one. That's heavy. You're good. Should be all right. Just, just watch your toes. Is it off again? Yeah. Is it hanging? Ah, uh, the end's still touching. Just barrel. Now you're good. You're clear. Right Two by ten, Donnie.
Beautiful. Guys, Dave loaded this all pretty quick last night on the new truck, and uh, that had that three wheel forklift that was awesome. It'd take probably 10 minutes to unload everything perfectly. And they switched them onto this old truck that that does not unload as well. So we're doing the best we can. That's just like anything. You know, you get lemons, make some lemonade. You wanna do the Advantec or what? Did they leave me any room under this Advantec? No. No dead pile. Same thing. Same thing? Uh where do you want it? Uh I guess if you go over the center of it, right? Oh, that path, where you want it on the ground? Oh, it'll be pretty, fairly close would be good. Honestly, on top of those boards wouldn't be the worst place. Alright, can you give two by tens first? Nope. Yeah. I'll get you set up for Okay. Dave, can you go up just a hair? Yeah. So they didn't give me much room at all on the back. So you're only catching the back by a couple inches. I hope it slides for you. You're hooked up now. I got you hooked up, but they left a uh, they left a okay. They left a cleat. Bad. They they did not help us at all on this job. Beautiful. Got it. Look out, Donnie. Which one you guys want next? All of them. Let's do it. This one might be a nightmare. I can see between them now, Dave. Can you? Yeah. Uh, Is your hooker up there still? Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, I got it.
Yeah, right there. Got him. Oh yeah, I see it. Got him. Hookers are good. Hold on. You want me to try to get that on there a little better? Just go down a hair. That's the heavy load. Yeah, that's heavy. Whoa, hold on. Just go down a hair. All right, you're good, you got it now. It was just hooking these studs. Yeah. I don't think it'll hook them, but maybe. There you go, you're free. Got some weight. That one is heavy.
Dave, you going that way or that way?
she's unloaded. She's not perfect, but. Oh, she is unloaded. That's a plus. Give it to her. Give it to her, baby. Well, there, Donnie. All right, we're gonna leave Dave, <laughs> lead Dave back to civilization because that would not be good if he got turned around in here. No. <laughs> no. What do you think, Donnie? You happy? Well, I'm happy it's here, but I'm not happy about the weather. <laughs> no, but I can't do nothing uh, about can't that. Can't do anything about that. So. Hey, appreciate it, bud. Yeah. Definitely the right guy for the job. That's right. What do you think of this job, this this build we're doing? This is nice. This is good. <laughs> now I want to come back when it's done. Yeah, you think we got a chance? Oh yeah. Alright, buddy. Alright. So just I never find you though. Stay <laughs> stay right on this road, you're good from here right. on out. Well, thank you. Thank you. We we, we appreciate you. It'll be all on video.